Your Honor, my name is Damien Goddard. I'm a television and radio broadcast journalist and independent filmmaker up here in Canada. And the reason why you're watching this DVD is to provide to some extent a, another side of the story, if you will, to one Dr. Anthony Gallia. What I've provided for you on this DVD are testimonies. They are testimonies from people whose lives have been profoundly impacted by one Dr. Gallia, the same man you will be passing sentence on very shortly. One of them is a male insurance broker who's just darn glad to be lacing up the hockey skates once again. After all, this, this is Canada. There's a young doctor who was one of the testimonials who has not only gotten to know Dr. Gallia inside the examination wall to the betterment of his profession, but also outside of those walls too. Also, there is an NFL tight end who is glad that his dream is still alive, thanks to Tony. And finally, a young woman whose life is no longer spiraling downwards. Just four stories due to time constraints, obviously. But there are thousands more of stories just like these. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this. I was feeling a lot of pain. I was gradually losing the cartilage on the inside of my left leg. I couldn't put any weight on it. I couldn't walk upstairs. I had to stop playing hockey. I couldn't even walk playing golf. I went to an orthopedic surgeon. He says, well, there's a procedure that they're doing now specifically for that injury, and it's called a half knee replacement. But it's, you know, it's major surgery, and uh, once you get a knee replacement, there's no turning back. They last about 10 years, and then once they're worn out, the full knee replacement's the only other option. So I had to do something, so I booked myself in for a half knee replacement. When I was talking to uh, Dr. Tony Gallia, telling him uh, what I was doing, he told me, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, let me try some procedures on you. He did a procedure in May, and there was that relief right away. Uh, I've had several procedures now, and uh, I've gone, I'm back on the ice, as you can see. I can't believe it, and it's there. Right now, uh, it's fine. It's no sore my knee than when I started the game today. Tony, it's just, I can't thank him enough. It's unbelievable what he's done for me. Um, yeah, and if I, didn't, um, if I didn't have means of knowing Tony, I'd have a half knee replacement right now. I can do all the things in my lifestyle uh, that I did before with, with these procedures. So I'm, I'm happy again. I can, you know, enjoy life, uh, enjoy just walking up the stairs again. <laughs> the human body is amazing. You got a job where, where it's never boring. You're, there's always something new to learn about. Uh, and, th you know, you just learn something new every day, and I think that's what makes it so, so interesting. Um, and, you know, Doc does have a massive passion for what he does. And that's why part of the reason he's so successful and people trust him is, you know, he's got that passion for what he does. He's willing to, to take the chance to try some new things. Um, and a lot of patients want him to take that chance. And a lot of times patients may want him to take a chance that, that he doesn't think is safe or doesn't think it's the way to go, and he'll say, you know, I don't... I don't think we should go this down this route. But yeah, he, he's willing to take a chance, willing to try new things, um, you know, willing to risk his reputation and things like that to, for the betterment of the patient. A lot of things that people don't see, like you said, the, the, the love and the, um, uh, the affection, uh, the compassion, the sincerity. Uh, the patients who know him, a lot of the patients who've seen him and who know him, they know that that's what he's all about. But a lot of other people don't understand that there's a lot more than just going in, seeing a patient, and trying to fix the problem. There's a lot of deeper layers, a lot of more that goes into that. Uh, I came in, it was uh, 07, and you know my knee was jacked up, just jacked up. And I was afraid I was never going to play again. And uh, he said, oh yeah, oh yeah, we can fix that. You know, yeah, that's nothing. Like, you know, we can fix that. It's going to take some time, but we can fix that. And I was like, what? I was like, I'd never heard anybody say that they can fix that. And uh, so I was like, man, if you fix me, if you keep me playing, I will kiss you on the lips. You know, <laughs> I remember saying that for whatever reason. But, uh, 
you know, and, and I'm still playing today and um, I'm doing well. G, we call him, you know, G. Uh, he's, um, he's a special breed because he wants to actually help the patient. There's so, much, so many politics, um, things that go on behind the scenes with team docs and, and, uh, and trainers and, and this sort of thing. But when you got a guy like, like Gallia, um, he's looking out for your best interest and he wants to help you. Um, so you can have a better life, you know, and, and um, so pain can be the, uh, won't be the issue. I have to deal with pain every day. Uh, wake up in the morning, pain, all day pain, through practice pain. When I get home, um, you know, doing the game ready, trying to get it ready for the next day. But it's my job, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it's what I've chosen to do and it's my job. Um, so it's what I must do, and it's what I want to do. Uh, I don't want my dream taken away from me, uh, you know, so I keep fighting. He's keeping my dream alive. Like the one that he has in his other office, um, I said something like, I'm able to play, I'm able to keep playing because of you, way to, you know, way to keep my dream alive. And um, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Like this is, I was raised into it, and this is all I've ever wanted to do. And um, I'm able to keep playing because of him. I told him my story, how I got hurt, and he started checking, I call it a manual MRI, you know? And he just started feeling with his hands, in my back, in my neck, everywhere. And he sat me down and told me exactly what was wrong with me, exactly and no one has ever done that before. I've been to a million doctors and they need you to tell them what's wrong, you know? And he told me everything I was feeling, everything I was going through, where I was headed, where I've been. And I just knew that right then my life had changed forever. His diagnosis was myofascial pain syndrome, which I had heard a million times, but he understood what it meant and he knew how to fix it, which I had never, no one else, did understand that. Like a lot of doctors try to make me feel like it was a psychosomatic thing, you know, even though they knew it was myofascial pain syndrome. But like, you know, doctors, if they can't fix it, they usually don't say, well, I can't fix it. So they say, you know, see a shrink or so he believed me. He believed me. So many doctors didn't just didn't. And he believed me. And then he told me and I just felt in my heart that he was going to be the answer. And he said to me that day that I met him, I can fix this. Best words I've ever heard in my life. He said, I can fix this. There's so many things to say, you know, I could go on for hours. That's why this has actually been easy for me because it's so natural to talk about him. But, you know, I would just really plead with that person to really step back and think about what they are doing because they're not just punishing him. They're not punishing him at all. He's on his journey. His path is his path. But they are going to take away a lifeline from so many people like me. That I swore I wouldn't cry. But um, that just would be nowhere without him. That would be hopeless without him. That I would have nothing without him. And to think of his family and to think of, of, of what they're doing. I just really hope they really stop and think and listen to their heart. Okay, so I wasn't quite as forthright as I should have been at the beginning when I said there were only just, there were just four stories. Uh, there are five on this DVD. You see, Honor, I am one of the thousands I was talking about. You see, for years I was diagnosed with just lower back pain, deal with it. Um, it, it was Tony back in 1998 who uh, took the time out to uh, really get involved with his most newest patient and find out really what was ailing him. And it was Tony who found out that I was suffering from an autoimmune disorder called ankylosing spondylitis. Not only has he treated me, he's gone on to become wildly intrigued by the cases of four of my six other siblings. This is the kind of doctor Tony is. You know, he goes by doctor, but I think what is most appropriate with regard to Tony is the title healer. 
he is by all extent a healer, a man who is really devoted to healing, not just physically either, spiritually as well. When my wife and I were having difficulty conceiving many years ago, um, it was Tony who provided that spiritual respite from our, from our problems. And um, e even to this day, uh, Tony gets a big kick out of seeing my two youngins uh, visit the clinic. Tony's gift as a healer is, uh, is, is manifested in his connectedness with God. And he's not afraid to say that either. You know, for years, for years he was laying it out to me. Like, you, you got to come with me to Jerusalem. You must experience the Holy Land. And in April of 2010, I took him up on that offer. And it was there where, for me anyway, the pieces just kind of came together regarding a man who not only devoted his time to healing souls, but devoted to the one God who set the good doctor's soul on fire. You can see the verb of passion. And he came equipped too, um, not only with a vast knowledge of Israel, its customs, its culture, its, its covenant, um, he also brought a care package for an old nun he sees every single time he sets foot just outside the walls of the holy city. It was really amazing just to be there and experience that. Like the previous testimonials, I could go on and on, uh, but I won't. I've already taken up considerable time of yours, and for that I'm thankful. Just know that not only am I thankful for you watching this DVD, please understand how much uh, Dr. Tony Gallia means to, to so many people, including myself. Thanks very much again, and God bless you.